Okay, hi, this is Stephanie here with Healthcare EDU. I am doing a demonstration. If you've been following my YouTube page, I had a different um, skill emptying the drainage bag. So Massachusetts has switched to DNS and they're adding a component of the PPE, donating your PPE. So that's why we're redoing it. So it is assumed that I have soap and water um, hand wash my hands, okay? If you don't know that skill, go back and watch my videos. I've gathered my supplies. For this is a alcohol pad, a paper towel, a graduate cylinder, um, bring in the box of gloves and the gown, okay? So I am going to knock, 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 close my privacy curtain. I'm going to enter the room and um, announce myself. So the intro is, hello, my name is Stephanie. I am your CNA for today, um, and I am here to empty your drainage bag. Can I see your two patient identifiers? Okay, thank you. Please excuse the nakedness, our mannequins in, but obviously a patient would be um, dressed. Okay, so now for this skill, what we're gonna do is put on our PPE first. This is a gown, this is a laundered gown. I'm gonna go ahead and put this gown on. Some hospital gowns are disposable. They're yellow in color or white. All right, those are the three standard colors. I'm just gonna tie the gown behind the neck. Just make a loose tie because you need to have it easy to take off. This gown has like the short end and it has the long end. It's gonna go around and I'm just gonna do like a loose tie so that it's easy to take off. I'm going to do my box of gloves. These are the regular gloves. Then it's not a sterile procedure. Going to do my box of um, take out a pair of gloves. When you put the gloves on, you've got to make sure that the gloves go over the cuff of the gown. Okay, I'm going to put my gloves on and they're going to go over the cuff of the gown. So now I am taking my paper towel. It needs to go on the floor, a barrier on the floor. And I'm kneeling down. The paper towel's on the floor. My graduate cylinder is there, kind of fitting underneath, okay? So I'm going to, you've got to look to see how low this bed is. I'm going to take out this here. And I'm going to be careful that the green spout does not touch anything. And I'm going to empty the urine. And so what you do, I'm actually emptying some of it. In real life, you're emptying all of the urine. The reason I'm emptying some here, because it's actually more than the graduate cylinder can take, and I'm gonna have my students empty afterwards. Now, you see I'm still careful that the green spout has not touched anything, because you don't wanna contaminate it. I have my alcohol spout here. I'm gonna wipe it clean, and I'm gonna take precautions and put it back into the holder there, okay? So now, I'm gonna make sure that I hold this here like so, okay? So what you can do, there's a couple of things. This um, graduate is supposed to fit under the Foley catheter well, and it did. If the bed was a little bit lower and I had to raise the bed, what I could have done is empty, um, I would have had to take my gloves on and then lower the bed back, but because I didn't touch it. So you can verbalize at this moment that the bed is still low and locked, okay? Um, Tony, I'm actually going to go and empty your urine. You have the call light still within reach. Your side rails are up, we never touch them. And are you comfortable the way you are? All right, Tony says yes. So the patient's still safe. Now, if you, I say bring the box of gloves in because if you had to touch anything with the bed, you would just take the gloves off and change it, um, et cetera, okay? Be careful, um, don't touch the curtain. So you're gonna exit the room here. You're in your bathroom. Most bathrooms are in the room, okay? Because we're at the school is technically exit, but most bathrooms are in the patient's room. 
Um, I noticed how I carried the graduate with the paper towel underneath. I am now, you could put your hand behind so you could see, I'm saying that it's 170. So I would dump the urine in the toilet, okay? Um, clean the graduate, put it away. And now I'm going to take off my PPE. This is a classroom, we don't have the bathroom here. Take off your gloves first the correct way. Grab it by the center, okay? Two fingers on the inside. Ooh about got it okay untie your gown so you've got envision that you have microbes all over your gown so that's why i say when you make a knot don't go crazy um making the knot super tight untie your gown and i'm going to take it off by the neck um in the neck area if you watch youtube some people do it by the sleeve so all of this you got to envision soil so you kind of have to go on the inside and if you do like a little shake here you can get it, roll it away from you. The gown's always rolled away from you and goes into the hamper. You would soap and water, hand wash, and then document. You always document with clean hands.